vlog with Elena. It's been a minute. I think I put my last vlog out in like mid-December and now it's almost March. December and January ended up being very difficult months. <laughs> like mental health wise and emotional wise. I definitely get like the whole seasonal affective disorder to a certain degree and like a little taste of like the seasonal, I guess depression, which I don't want to use that term lightly. It makes it difficult to be creative, but even more so it makes it very difficult to like, to talk very genuinely to a camera. Like it's the last thing you feel like you can do, but I'm doing better. <laughs> um, a big thing that helped was I went to Brazil and oh my gosh, I fell in love with Brazil and the Brazilians and the warmth and the sunshine. I'm such a summer beach baby at heart, which, you know, it gets me questioning, why, why am I out here in New York? What am I doing to myself? I don't know. I love New York. It's a toxic relationship. Well into four and a half years in New York, which is crazy. If you've been following my journey, we've been on this for a long time, y'all. I feel like moving into the new year, I've done a ton of journaling and brainstorming and scheming, and I didn't really necessarily come up with anything super concrete other than like certain small goals I wanted to work on. But I feel like if anything, I was like, I feel like this is the year where like something's gonna really be shaken up. And I don't know exactly what it is. I have some ideas, but I feel like I've been in a similar space for a while. I've talked a lot about doing longer stays in other places. I think I don't know what like my forever home is yet, which is a kind of a tricky thing. I miss having access to nature and the ocean and a slower life. It took me a very long time to be able to accept that for a while. I was like, hell yeah, a hustle culture. Girl past my way to the sun. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe I just want a little cottage core aesthetic life. Sounds kind of nice. I don't need to be on Forbes 30 under 30. Like, just give me a little, just a little beach shack. Lots of good books. You know, this is my soft girl era, I think. No more that girl. Okay, still a little bit under type A, but I'm feeling a little untethered and detached, but I'm feeling good about that. I don't know, that's where I've been. How have you guys been? I wanna know if you feel similar to that at all. But with that aside, um, I'm excited for this vlog. Definitely is not gonna be like fully chronological, like day by day, just a mixture of fun moments. Daniel Drew is staying with me this week, which is fun. He's visiting from Paris if you know him. So you'll see him later in this vlog. But yeah, time to get back to editing. Let's go edit Brazil. Oh my gosh. I am speaking at the Strand Bookstore with Damon, the one, the only Damon Zamanique, the man we know and love. And I'm super excited. I'm so nervous. Like, this wasn't a bucket list item, but now it is to say I spoke with the Strand so I can write that on the list, like, cross it off. We're talking about Damon's book, You Are a Global Citizen, which is really, really well done. It, it's almost like journal style, but like guided prompts, and I really love it. It's kind of like therapy in a way. So I need to get ready because I want to go speak at the Strand, just out here facing our fears of public speaking. Love Damon, so let's go to the Strand. Okay, uh, Perfect. great. Uh, someone will be back here in like 10 minutes. Right. How you feeling? Like, I'm just, it's just like I've been doing this for two years that I, I don't know. even know what to say at this point. Like, <laughs> I don't like, know who wrote this it's anymore. Like, when you're looking at a script too much, I'm words I start losing their meaning. Start talking and like see my friends in the audience. And like, I think it's gonna be great. I'm, I'm pretending I'm an MC, moderator Elena, kind of. I, I don't feel know. like you've done this before. I'm a professional, oh, totally. That's why you picked me, right? Because of my years of experience. We're ready to shine. It's gonna be great. Friends are here. I'm excited. The countdown. She's about to go out. She's, gonna she's go getting fresh. She's getting her questions on the inside. I'm telling herself I love to speak. She does. She's taking deep breaths. <laughs> no slips. Breaths. Like. Let's talk about an iconic bookstore real quick. Mm -hmm. Like, come on. That's so thank you, Strand. Um, I'm excited to be here with Elena. Hello, hello. Um, another global citizen. Where'd we meet? VidCon. VidCon. Back in the day. We have been in Tunisia together, which wasn't planned. Paris together. Mexico um, City. Together, New York together. So it's really cool. I'm, I'm very excited for you guys. It's like a, kind of like a self-exploration experience. <laughs> Our sweet boy. <laughs> oh, it's the camera off. He's so cute. Look at him go. I've been keeping 
this little silly photo of me as a kid by my mirror so that if I'm being a little mean to myself in the mirror, which I really struggle with, I'll be like, hey, you're talking to her too. And I would never be mean to her. Look how precious she is. She's still in there. <laughs> See, I can't forget that. Hello, another day working from home. Nathaniel though gets here in a little bit, which is fun. He's visiting from Paris and traveling around the East Coast a little bit and crashing with me for a few nights. So exciting to have a friend in the home, especially someone who does the same creative job as me. I'll go after you. He's vibing. Thoughts. I just love this. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite New York activity? Eating. You too? Music first. But food all. Okay. Food for me beats even music. Damn, that looks good. Nice. He's vibing. What are your first New York thoughts? First thoughts? Mm -hmm. I gotta say, I mean, New York definitely is my favorite city in the US. Agreed. Uh, right answer. A lot of character, and there's also a lot of attitude, and that's good and bad. Yeah. It adds layers to your daily experience. Yeah. This really is like morning routine with Elena and Nathan. More like you're on my morning routine. Oh okay. yeah. We went to the gym, we got some coffee. We got some breakfast. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh my god. New York, baby. Breakfast time. I know. I've got some fun goods to share. Today's sponsor is the Red Up. If you're somehow unfamiliar, Thread Up is basically one of the world's largest online thrift stores, and you can find incredible secondhand pieces there. So I love getting some fun pieces to spice up my wardrobe and look for some basics that I've been missing. I like using their mobile website or their app a lot of times to do my shopping. I find it helpful to look for specific items or brands that I'm excited about. And there's a new feature, which is really exciting, is that Thread Up has made it as easy as ever, where you will be able to click and see the items I ordered and then be able to shop similar items for a little outfit inspiration. Let's see what we got. So for context, I don't feel comfortable shopping at Sara because it's fast fashion, but I gotta be honest, they make some good pieces. But I do like to shop them secondhand. So I got this sweater for only $22. Really cute little like baby mock neck moment. Super comfy, cozy fit. I picked up this very cute Verapel leather jacket. This one was also super on sale for $77. I like this little buckle moment here. I also got this very cute Sarah Mathis long sleeve because I've been looking for an off the shoulder top like so. And this was only $18. Are you kidding me? This for under $20? Incredible. She is so cute. We love. And then I got this incredible Sienna Studio red leather jacket for $58. When I saw this, I was like, I cannot leave it behind. It fits incredibly. It kind of reminds me of Toy Story in the best way. And last, but certainly not least, the Tahari turtleneck sweater, $30.62. I loved the rib stitching and how there was this cool cross in the middle. And I just love a turtleneck sleeveless sweater. Thanks again to ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. I have a discount code for you guys for 35% off. So be sure to use that and save yourself some more money. All the information will be linked down below as usual. Thanks again to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. Who's here? Yeah. I made it to New York. She's here. Look at the little thing. Lit up by the computer light. Yeah, this is like the <laughs> <Little> <laughs> Behind the behind the scenes.
Oh, this is so fun. The first event we've been to before. Yeah, Sisters. I've, I've never been to an event. And we kind of dressed somewhat similar. Yep. Sisters. Taking on New York. Let's go to Vogue. Oh my goodness, can't believe I'm saying that. Especially American friends too. It'd be cool to meet a lot of other people that have that same sort of uh, curiosity and, and desire to explore the world. So anyway, very grateful for yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, so thank you so much. We're grateful you're here. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Always. Thank you for yes. didn't really include yeah. you, but you're part of this. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, honorary American. Yeah. <laughs> Are you excited? <laughs> what? Oh my god. Cheers. 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 Hello. Good morning. How are we doing? It's Saturday, which means it's time for my little coffee shop routine. Let's go journal read. Nathaniel Drew and Dion, who's an incredible photographer. It's such a life-giving conversation. I feel like I haven't had that kind of like depth and inspiration in a conversation just really naturally in a while. They both have such unique like creative brains and ways of thinking and seeing the world and like interacting with their own work. This made me feel really inspired and grounded and I feel like those types of moments can be rare to come by. So I headed home, got myself some flowers. for myself because they bloom so beautifully slowly as well so you can enjoy them for a whole period of time. You know, this is like a common theme in my video so I'm sounding like a broken record but the way music brings me so much joy. I don't really like going out in New York anymore just for the sake of like going out, but to go out to a good DJ set. I recently saw another and then I saw Piggy Goo and Perel. They were so much fun. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to talk about that me, Nathaniel, and Dion talked about. We talked for a while. We talked for like three hours. It was a really beautiful conversation. Dion was talking about the power of no, which really hit home for me. I'm such like a yes man, <laughs> yes woman. And I think that trait has gotten me far in life. It's gotten me to where I am by saying yes to experiences, adventures, projects, you know, meeting new people. But as I'm kind of shifting in the way that I'm like viewing my life and balance and the things that are important, I feel like the power of no is so 
so crucial saying no to you know giving your time to people or things and it's really hard to say no but you have that feeling deep inside that you're like i don't need to go out tonight or i don't need to go to the event or or i don't need to say yes to that project and it's really easy to just say yes 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 and like fill up your time and schedule and plate so much of our culture is just like the merry-go-round that's non-stop and so i think getting off for a little bit and letting that go on without you is so powerful and it can be very hard to do because it can feel like you're missing out on opportunities or experiences or whatever it may be but trusting the process that by like saying no and taking that time you're growing in yourself and you're strengthening yourself in the areas that are important to you so i really like that and i hope that hits home with some of you guys also it's international women's month shout out to all my women and female identifying people in the states abroad wherever you are i'm thinking of you this is a cool month to reflect back on our history as well as you know think about the ways that we can keep persevering forward and keep making more progress also worked with this organization called better internet initiative for a little while now and i really love what they're doing they basically help empower different creators and educators with different information essentially that's fact checked on what's going on at the moment and kind of of supplying ways to encourage you know your audience to maybe go out there and try to make a difference themselves so i was talking to them about women's history month and they brought something crazy to my attention which i kind of loosely knew but not to this extent that women were excluded from all clinical trials so if a medicine wasn't used specifically for reproductive purposes like headaches heart medicine insulin women were included in clinical trials until 1993 that's not that long ago. I also, side note, read this incredible book, which I highly recommend called Invisible Women. It's about exposing a data bias in a world designed for men. Obviously it has improved in the last few decades, but there's still a lot of catching up to do in regards of gender equality within research. So it's just a reminder that we need to get active and stay active within our local communities, city councils and more, and look for female representatives that are pushing for more women within medical research. Women still only make up 28.6% of the total representatives in Congress which is mind blowing. So we got a lot of work to do, y'all. I don't share this as a bad thing. I share this as hopefully something to get you riled up and inspired to get involved and push for greater gender equality. So happy International Women's Month. Text somebody, send somebody a letter that you love and are proud of and who you find inspiring. Hello. About to head out to the Saks Fifth Avenue event, which I'm very excited about. And you'll stop at Colt Gaia. Yeah, I'm frazzled, so let's just let's just go. Again, to thread up for sponsoring this video and use my code Elena for 35% off your first order.